You're leaving us because every word we've spoken this morning has been for you. Say again. Oh, it is for you. And they are the beneficiaries of what you are asking for. You can stay or go. It does not matter. Come closer. You want to hear what she has to say? Yeah. Come on up. Strong desire is worth considering, don't you think? Over there on the floor. No. There's nothing to be sorry about but we want to say a couple of things to you this is going to be really brief and we want to hear your protest because it's obvious you've got one and then we're going to do our best to soothe you into a place that feels better to you you're sharing it so these are our agreements brief hi now that was an agreement Brief. Brief. Clear. Clear. Clarity from you. Clarity from you. Clarity from me. Clarity from me. <laughs> Hi. Brief. I thought I already did that part. Didn't I? Why are you making so much trouble for yourself and everyone else? What's because I love you guys. Well, that's counter. In other words, if you loved us, you'd be listening, not protesting. I've been listening for 40 something years. All right. So what's on your mind right now? The state of the world is in trouble. All right. So sit back and this is our answer to you. Ready? So it looks that way. We get that. Just listen. Just listen for a little bit. The state of the world is what you're talking about. Is there any gaffer's tape? <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> so we just said something that is very important and this ties into all of this. And this is the way you as a physical human can more easily write out what feels like rough times to you in your personal world or in your world at large. And what it is, is that it's how you get from the manifestation that is into an improved manifestation. And the way you do that is by not giving so much attention to what is and finding the feeling place of what you would really like. Wait just a minute. We want to make the statement that one who is connected to this stream of well-being, the reason that one who is connected to this stream of well-being is more powerful than millions who are not is because in connection to this stream of well-being, there's no resistance. And so you open to the stream and you are a more powerful influence. Few people are allowing themselves to be that, but it is a possible thing for everyone. And those who know that they can do it, who have done it, can hardly stand it when they're not doing it and when you're not doing it you feel terrible and when you are doing it you feel better so we've been saying there are two ways that you can get out ahead of what is so that you start being a vibrational match to where you're going instead of to where you are that's the key to deliberate creation one is through meditation we're going to be brief about this when you quiet your mind you release thought when you release thought you stop resistance when you stop resistance your vibration rises when your vibration rises then you not only get the relief of connection and the clarity of connection and the wisdom of connection but you also get to be the influence of the well-being that you've now hooked into it's a lovely place to be the other way another process where you can get out ahead of it is something that for years we've been calling segment intending and Esther has been 
playing with her segment intending in this way now segment intending means here I stand however I feel and yet I'm moving forward into the world and the likelihood as I move forward into the world is that I'm going to take me and how I feel and I'm going to move forward in the world so I'm going to get the same thing when I step into the future as I've been getting because it's my habit of vibration and so we've been saying that if you can isolate things that feel good even though it takes some deliberate sifting and find a feeling place that does feel good then you take that improved feeling place forward and your future segment treats you better than it would have if you hadn't done that because you've changed your vibration so Esther has begun with a notebook stopping 20 or 30 times in a day and isolating good feelings in this segment she used to think of segment intending as I'm gonna get in my car and I'm gonna get into traffic so make the lights green and make the drivers nice and get everything ready for me because here I come <laughs> and now she understands that segment intending is preparing herself to move into the next so that her point of attraction that is solid here she takes there so that she gets from the people of that segment what she wants so she's been doing it relative to everything I'm going to get dressed I'm going to wash my hair I'm going to put on my face as she says I'm going to call a friend I'm going to check my email doesn't matter what she's doing she's preparing herself vibrationally for it so she was sitting with a friend they were at a restaurant and they were feeling exactly what you're feeling for a moment about the unhappiness in the world and even though they were touching it lightly because they're wise enough girls not to spend a lot of time there it was stinging them while they were touching it and so they said to each other almost talking at the same time and Esther pulling her notebook out of her purse and laying it on the table Esther said we can change the way we feel we can help this and so she laid her notebook on the table and she did what she always does she's done it thousands of times in the recent weeks and months she wrote at the top of the page segment colon and then she wants to give it a title usually it's fix my hair brush my teeth get ready for the day call so-and-so this time she wrote segment and she was pausing and asking the question in her mind what should we call this segment and then the word came God bless America just wrote those words Amen. and goosebumps came all over both of them it was the perfect title for the intention of this segment it wasn't protest that get on the side of this get rid of that it was bring well-being to all some years ago Jerry and Esther were driving their monster bus and as they were driving around one day they began singing the song God bless Afghanistan then God bless Bulgaria Yay. then Canada Yay. then Denmark yeah. then France Yay. they went through the alphabet over and over and over again and got the name of every country on the planet in their song it took days <laughs> and there are some letters that just don't have countries Esther would like to get some countries started with some of those so they did so here Esther and her friend are with that title of that segment God bless America and then as Esther always tries to find a feeling like an emotion like love there it was land that I love goosebumps then stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light that Esther was tapping into and Esther said to her friend and her friend said to Esther I'm glad you were here because you kind of had to be there none of you are feeling it the way they felt it 
you had to have felt the inspiration that was coming that you have the power to tap in to whatever it is that you think that non-physical is to soothe whatever it is that you think needs soothing but you can't soothe anything from a place of not feeling soothed and you can't be a proponent of soothing when you are standing in protest or awareness of what's gone wrong because you have to stand in the place of feeling your well-being and knowing your well-being and more important than anything not just knowing that well-being is available but knowing that you can be a catalyst and a receiver of the well-being do you know that when you stand as a vibrational match to the well-being that you seek that then the well-being flows in around you yeah. we're glad you know that yeah. we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs>